name is Michael Thompson, and I'm running for judge of the Solano County Superior Court. I have extensive experience handling civil litigation cases, real estate, probate, state planning. I've been, a, a, I was born and raised in Solano County. I'm familiar with this community. I've been an active trial lawyer since 1985. My children was born here in Vallejo. I'm a third generation. I've been active in the legal community in Solano County now for 25 years. I've served for five years as a Superior Court Judge Pro Tem where I adjudicated small claim cases. I want to make a difference in this community. The reason why I'm running for a judge is because it's time that the community's voice be heard. So often we have individuals from our community who go to court and they become disenfranchised. Much of what I've done in my life has been because of this fundamental belief that regardless of the circumstances in life, that if you put forth hard work, discipline, and dedication, that you can be anything that you wanted to be. And notwithstanding the great odds and statistics that would have said that Michael Thompson never would have become anything, I beat those odds. Every day I leave my house with the unmistaken belief that I can do anything that I put my mind to and that I'm willing to apply myself towards. And this is a principle that has not only guided me, but my children as well. Where I stand now is I want to give back to the community. I've been blessed in no uncertain terms. I'm an entrepreneur. I have a successful restaurant. My law practice has been in existence now for 25 years. I've had the great privilege of representing a, a diverse client base, Filipinos, Hispanics, Asians, uh, African Americans, Caucasians, and I take great pleasure in the fact that I've been able to work with just some phenomenal people. Solano County is at the crossroads. There are many who think that we're at a point where there's some distrust between the citizenry at large and our judiciary. And I want to bridge that gap. I want to be the one to get in there and be a proponent of drug court to make sure that individuals who's are, who are arrested for petty crimes such as marijuana have an opportunity to have some means of diversion without being institutionalized. I want to make sure that young people who find themselves confronting the criminal justice system understand and educate themselves about the process. I want to make sure that kids Futures are not determined by a one individual mishap. Now, don't get me wrong. For those individuals who violate the law, who engage in violent crimes, who are not able to conduct their affairs within the norms of society, make no mistake, I will be strong and I will be swift and I'm non-tolerant of violent crimes. But for those individuals, as I said, that involve minor crimes such as uh, marijuana, I think those type of cases should not burden our judiciary. There should be some alternatives uh, available to young people who find themselves in those predicaments. Because the consequence of being convicted of, of a felony prevent you from having a student loan and put a dark cloud over your future. So education is the key. I've worked with the boys and girls clubs here in in Solano County. I work with the Boy Scouts. I've mentored youth. I've, I'm in, actively involved in my church. We have training se seminars and employment sessions. We, we've had events where volunteers have donated clothing and we've helped young people and old people for that matter uh, develop employment skills so that they could go out and make themselves productive in society. I've championed seminars which included Congresswoman Maxine Waters and Leston Hester from HUD and others who have worked with me to educate lawyers how to handle cases involving the subprime prime debacle. Hundreds and thousands of people have been displaced as a result of this subprime debacle and I've been at the forefront of helping educate lawyers and the citizens at, at large to help them to overcome this displacement. 
the American dream still is home ownership, and I've tried and continue to champion the cause for homeowners. On June 8th, I ask for your support. I'm committed to doing the very best job that I can. I'm dependable, I'm fair, I'm honest, and most importantly, I'm from your community. I thank you for allowing me this opportunity to come before you today. And on June 8th, believe it, Michael Thompson, getting the job done. Thank you. Judge of the Solano County Superior Court, making a difference in Solano County. Thank you.